Now in this lesson we're looking at best buys. Let's consider some examples. We're asked to determine the best buy. We have four different cans there. A one litre can for seven dollars forty. A two litre can for thirteen dollars twenty. A five litre can for twenty eight dollars seventy five. And a twenty litre can for a hundred and seventeen dollars. Now if we can see the one litre, two litre, five litre and a twenty litre can we need to compare them at the same size before we can determine the best buy. So what we're going to do with those is try to break them down and change them to one litre. Right, change them all to one litre then we can compare them properly. Well the first one is already a one litre can so we know the price is $7.40. We don't need to do anything to that. The next one now a two litre can. To work out the price for one litre to change it to one litre we need to divide by two. So our price there, we divide that by 2 and we get $6.60. Now the 5 litre can, to break that down to a 1 litre size, we need to divide by 5. So we have our price there, $28.75, divide that by 5 and we get $5.75. Now the 20 litre can, to break that down to a 1 litre size, we need to divide by 20. And the $117 divided by 20 works out to be $5.85. So, now we've got them all at the 1 litre size. Let's compare their prices. And we can see that the $5.75 for the 1 litre is the cheapest. So that was the 5 litre can. So therefore we say that the best buy is the 5 litre can. Excellent. Now we need to be a little bit sensible about this, by the way. If, for example, we were talking about cans of paint and we only needed a very small amount, like one litre was plenty, then in fact to buy a five litre can might be a bit silly. Okay, so just be a little bit sensible about this. Okay, just because it's cheaper in that run doesn't mean that we actually necessarily need a huge size. All right, but for these examples, we're just going to work out the cheapest by comparison price wise. Our second example, orange juice, is sold in four different packs. Which of the following represents the best buy? So there are our four packs, A, B, C and D. 300 mils, 750 mils, a 1 litre and 1.5 litre pack. So again, they're all different sizes. We need to compare the same size. So what we're going to do is change them all to 100 mils. So 100 millilitre size. So the first one, 300 mils. To break that down to 100 mils, we need to divide by 3. So our price, 96 cents. Let's divide that by 3. We get 32 cents. The next one, 750 mils. Now to break that down to 100 mils, well, what we'll need to do is divide by 7.5. Okay, have a bit of a think about that. If it was 700 mils, we divide by 7. If it was 800 mils, we divide by 8. Well, it's right in the middle at 750 mils. That's why we're going to divide by 7.5. Now, the price is $1.90, but in the one above it, we've been dealing with cents. So we'll need to write this in cents. 190 divided by the 7.5, and that works out to be 25.3 cents. The next one, one litre. Well, one litre we know is 1,000 millilitres. So to break that down to 100 mils, we need to divide by 10. So our price is $2.60, but again we'll write that in terms of cents. So 260 cents divided by 10 works out to be 26 cents. Finally, 1.5 litres is 1,500 mils. So to break the 1,500 mils to 100 mils, we need to divide by 15. So our price, again, in terms of cents, 396. We divide by that 15 and we get 26.4 cents. Excellent. Now we look at comparing the prices now and we can see that 25.3 cents for the 100 mils is the cheapest and that was pack B. So the best buy is the 750 milliliter pack. Terrific. Okay, that concludes our lesson. Good luck with your questions.